Pulling a little double duty on the Bobcat Insider today. We're at football this morning with basketball this afternoon, talking with head coach Brian Fish. Basketball team leaves for a five-day trip to Canada on Wednesday morning. Coach, four games in four days. It'll be a bit of a grind. What are you looking to accomplish on the trip? Well, first of all, we have an option to play three games in four days, and I'd rather play more games. We're going up there to play ball and get as much playing time. You know, a couple things we're trying to establish. Uh, we've got to play better defense. Uh, we were a top 40 team in the country in scoring last year, but defensively we were in, you know, 320 out of 351 and we've got to improve there we've made a big emphasis we also want to get out and run those 24 second shot clock play a little faster uh, but also give the guys that didn't get a chance to play I kind of know what Harry can do I kind of know what Tyler can do I want to see what a DK can do I want to see what Isaac can do Luke can do get some Benny out there so we're gonna get we're gonna play a lot of different lineups a lot of different things uh, I know fans want us to win but I want to get playing time and see what guys can do in some crucial situations and that kind of leads me to my next question part of development is winning mm -hmm. But how much balance are you looking for between just getting through the things you want to accomplish versus winning four games? Well, I think now we're, I think our guys expect now to win. We're, we're, we're way far down the line where we were two years ago. You know, we got to 16 and 16. Our guys now walk into games to win. And you've got to teach guys how to win basketball games. But what I, you know, I don't want to get in a situation where Tyler's got to hit a late shot to win the game. I want to see, I want to see Kelgen get that shot. I want to see Connor get that shot. And guys that haven't been on the floor yet. And let's see if we got other options because, Tyler and Harry approved they can make that shot, but let's see what everybody else can do. Defensively, let's see who can talk and lead because confidence, uh, talking breeds confidence, and that's something we didn't do a lot of early last year, got better late. We want to start where we finished last year and build on that talking, so we got a lot of confidence on defense. You won't be able to make the final analysis on how successful this trip is until the end right. of the season next right. April, but in your experience in your coaching career, when a team has taken a foreign trip like this, what have been some of the bigger benefits? Well, you just get out of the gate a little quicker. There's it's been it's been watered down a little bit because now we do get summer practices previously when you took trips you weren't allowed to practice in summer but we've been on the floor now 17 times as a team and we're starting to form an identity starting to form how we do things uh, we certainly established the importance of what how we want to play defense and, and the little things we want to do so we've spent a lot of time on the little things because I want to carry that over on September 29th when we start official practice I've really been happy uh, with how these guys have attacked it we've had really really good practices. I've really been happy with some guys stepping up on the leadership role. So, so far, everything's been good. Montana State heads to Calgary for a four-game trip. The first game Thursday, they'll play Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. All four games will be broadcast on the radio. We'll have it for you on AM 1450 KMMS in Bozeman. It'll be online at msubobcats.com and available on the TuneIn app. So be sure to tune in to check out a little Bobcat basketball in the summertime. With the head coach, Brian Fish, I'm Jay Sanderson for msubobcats.com.